Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and today I am going to show you guys how we go about making this really pretty cowl. This is kind of a companion tutorial to the shawl poncho or poncho shawl that I released a few weeks ago. This stitch is actually the same stitch that was used at the bottom edge of the poncho shawl. So you can use this in in wear it with the um, poncho shawl when you're wearing it in the poncho version around your neck for like a little cowl neck. It will look super cute with that. Or of course you can just make the um, cowl just because you like it. So super simple stitch pattern, but really elegant. And this one right here that you're seeing is worked flat like a long rectangle. So we're gonna work a rectangle and then we just simply seam it up with just a little whip stitch seam to close off and then you sew in your tails and you're done so it is super easy to do it is super fun to make and it works up very quickly it's a really great one if you have to make a gift for someone or need something to wear you can do this really quick in an you know an afternoon and have a really nice cowl to wear with an outfit or to give as a gift I'm going to give you the information um, on how to create the cowl version, but you, of course, can use this stitch for absolutely anything. It's a two-row repeat, so it's super simple to do. And this is the same stitch work that I used for the lace portion of my poncho shawl that released a few weeks ago. So we're going to start by chaining in a multiple of five plus two at the end. So for the cowl. For this cowl, I chained a total of 107, and that's using size 4 worsted weight yarn. You, of course, can use any yarn that you would like. Down below in the description, you will find the measurements for this cowl so that you can create it to this size and um, create this version in any yarn. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in and get started. So your starting chain needs to be 107 chains long if you are doing size 4 yarn. If you're going with a different yarn, larger or smaller, you're going to refer down to the description for the measurement of the cowl. But keep in mind this stitch is worked in a multiple of 5 plus 2 at the end. So we have a chain of 107 on our hook. Not counting the loop that's on our hook, we're going to begin working row one of the two row repeat. So we're going to skip the first four stitches. So we're going to skip one, two, three, four, and work here into the fifth doing a double crochet. So you're going to wrap your yarn, come down here and insert into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now this right here is going to count as a double crochet and then we've just done our first double crochet and now we're going to chain one and double crochet back into that same exact stitch and this is our first V stitch for this row. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we are going to skip the next four stitches working into the fifth. So you're going to skip, 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 and work here into the fifth stitch doing another V stitch. So we're going to be yarning over, going back down here into this fifth stitch, and we're going to do our double crochet, chain one, double crochet all into that same space. So there's the double crochet. Now we chain one and we double crochet back into the same exact first stitch. Oops, splitting my yarn. And now all we need to do is chain three again. So your repeat for the entire row is going to be chain three, V stitch into the fifth chain. So you'll be always skipping four going to the fifth chain and doing your V-stitch. So we're going to do that together one more time. One, two, three. So there's our chain three. Now we're going to skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. 
and we're going to go here into the fifth in V stitch. So that's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet all into the same stitch. Super, super simple. So there's my double crochet. Now I chain one and I come back down here into the same exact stitch and do a double crochet. Now I chain three, one, two, three, skip four stitches, go into the fifth and do my V stitch. Double crochet, chain one and double crochet into the same stitch. Now we're going to pause here and continue on down your row working in the exact same manner and then we'll meet back up when you get down here to the end of your row. Now we're here at the end of our row and we're just finished doing our V stitch. So before we chain anything, we're here at the end of the row with three stitches left. This time we do not chain. We are going to do a double crochet here into the last stitch of this row. Just going to insert into that stitch and do your double crochet. So now we're going to begin row two next. And this is what your work's looking like, as you can see. So we're now going to chain up three to begin row two. So all of your row twos will start this way. You're gonna chain up three. That counts as a double crochet. And now you are going to do a V stitch into the V stitch. So right here into this very next V stitch, we're going to do a V stitch. So we're gonna come down there working around that chain one space. And we're going to do a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Now we're going to chain two, and this begins our repeat for this row. We chain two, one and two, and we come down here to this chain three space, and we're going to do a single crochet around that chain three. One single crochet. Now we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to place a V stitch into the V stitch from the previous row to end the repeat. So we're gonna come right here, working around that chain one space and complete our V stitch. Chain one and double crochet back into that same exact space. So that's our repeat for this entire row. So we're gonna do the repeat again. So our repeat begins by chaining two, one and two. Now we come here and we work around the chain three doing a single crochet. We're going to chain two, one and two, and then we V-stitch into the V stitch from the previous row. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet back into the same space. Now we're going to chain two, one and two, and repeat begins again by chaining two, doing a single crochet around the chain three, chain two, and V-stitch into the V-stitch to end the repeat. So that's all you're gonna do 
all the way down your row. So pause here and meet back up with me when you are ready to do the end of your row. So we're here at the end of the row and I have room to complete one more repeat of this design. So I'm going to chain two and that starts my repeat. I'm going to come down here on the chain three and do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain two again and we're going to place a V stitch into the V stitch from the previous row. So that's right there right in there and do our v-stitch chain one and double crochet into the same space and now again just like before we're not going to chain anything we're here at the end of the row and we've got this chain three essentially right here so we're just going to count up one two and three and go into the top of that chain three working a double crochet so we're going to yarn over and insert into that stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over not in my yarn <laughs> yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and that is how we end every row two so now we're going to do row one one more time together so you can see how you will go about working across this section. I'll do this real quickly with you, but it's a really simple and easy stitch pattern and it turns out really nicely. So we're gonna do row one one more time together so you can see that repeat and how you work this. So we're gonna chain up three to start. And so all of your rows begin with a chain three. So one, two, and three. And now we turn our work and we're going to v-stitch into the first v-stitch of the row double crochet chain one and double crochet now we're going to chain three one two and three and you're going to skip over the chain two skip over the single crochet skip over this chain two and come here to the v-stitch and work into that v-stitch you're going to do a v-stitch into the v-stitch so that's double crochet chain one double crochet back into the same space that ends the repeat for this row so you're going to chain three one two three and v-stitch into the next v-stitch V stitch into the V stitch at the end once you've made it to the end of your row you are going to be finishing up a repeat you have your chain three and your V stitch into the V stitch and now all you will need to do is a double crochet into the top of the chain three so you count up from the bottom one two and three and we double crochet into the top of that chain three and that is how we're going to be ending all of our rows. So now what we're going to do is we're going to complete the total width of the cow. So we've chained for our total length. This is where we're going to be joining. This is going to be along these sides where we've done the end of the row. We're going to be joining this to the other side. So you can make this thing as wide as you would like. You do not have to stick with the number of rows that I'm going to give you, but you, if you're wanting to do exactly what I've done and you like the measurements down in the description, then you're going to be doing a total of 23 rows. And the reason why I say 23 is you're going to do 22 rows that are the um, total repeat, the two row repeat of the design. But then the 23rd row should be one of your row one. So you want to end on a row one doing the V-stitch, chain three, V-stitch row. That way you have a nice flat, even side. And the beginning of your work, same thing, nice flat, even side. So this 
this right here is the portion that's going to be around um, the basic outer edges of the cowl. And we're going to fold the cowl once we have all 23 rows. We're going to fold it in half. So I'm going to raise the camera up so I can show you guys that. So you're going to have a nice wide section that you've worked. I can't even fit it all into frame. Now we're going to take and fold from left to right or right to left. We're going to bring it over. So we're folding. We have essentially a large, long rectangle. And we're going to fold the rectangle in half like this. So this is going to create our cowl. And all we have to do from here is come over here to this side and seam along the side. So what I did, I actually left a really long tail after I did a bind off. When I was finished with the number of rows, I did a bind off and I just left a lot of tail so I could use that to sew in my ends. And to sew in the ends, it is super simple. You're just going to take your blunt end darning needle or yarn needle and just do a quick little whip stitch or mattress stitch. I mean, it's completely up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. You, of course, can also use a... um slip stitch to bind off and close this so that you can seam it up or you can do a single crochet it's really does not matter we just want to seam the end and then the cowl is ready you can also add a pico edging to it if you prefer i didn't on mine i liked how it looked so i left it just how it was but just seal up that edge seam the edge and you are finished so hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you have, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I do a lot of different tutorials and there's a lot of content here on the channel that you might be interested in. So please make sure that you check out the different playlists. I have everything organized in a playlist for you guys, um, depending on what type of video it is. So there is all kinds of different playlists to check out. And as always, I appreciate you so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.